each single morning two wild animals wake up with different missions. The lion and the gazelle, both of them wake up with totally different missions. One runs after the other and one runs from the other. The wild animals, the lion eats on the gazelle. So, the gazelle wakes up in the morning knowing very well that if it doesn't run, the lion will catch up with it and it may fall prey. So these are the two animals with the same jungle, with different missions. One is to get hold of the other and one is to totally run away from the other. I want to ask you one simple question, you my brother, you who is watching me. What makes you wake up in the morning to run maybe in the office or to run maybe in the plantation? Or maybe run wherever you are, in whatever you do. What is it that makes you run in the morning? I know you cannot run 70% a lion, you cannot run 30% a gazelle. There is a specific reason why you wake up in the morning and chase your dream. I want you to, look, to watch this video. Maybe you have seen the title of the video. Maybe you have seen what I'm going to talk about today. But I want you to tell me, in the comment section, what makes you run in the morning as soon as you wake up in the morning? I know, it might not be easy for you to identify the reason as to why you run. I know, sometimes, there are mixed things, mixed reactions, mixed feelings, why you decide to run every morning. But one thing I'm sure, that you cannot wake up in the morning blindly with no mission, with not knowing what you do, there is one thing which makes you uncomfortable wherever you are, that makes you run so that you may achieve what you want in life. And that is, that, that is why today I'm doing this particular video. How are you going to outwork your competitors? Or why is it important to outwork your competitors? Because the resources are limited. Everything is limited. So whatever you do, is going to make you the best or on the top of the, of the list to earn what you are looking for. Thank you and welcome. Thank you so much for considering tuning into your most favorite online TV channel. My name is Julius, a proud African from Kenya. I'm an entrepreneur and this is my YouTube channel, Public Desire Media TV. First things first, if it is your first time to be on this channel, if it is your first time to be on this channel, Please, please, be comfortable, be comfortable knowing that you are in the right place. This is the only place where you will be getting two inspirational videos each week that are geared towards making you a better person in life. And what else? In this particular channel, I'm going to be doing inspirational interviews for those people who have achieved in life or later on in life. I'm going also to do historical site visits which are meant towards educating those people who may not have an opportunity to visit these historical sites. It is also this channel they are going to get random street interviews on matters which are trending or even issues which are of major human interest. So if it is your first time to be on this channel, I welcome you. Please feel at home. This is the place where you need to be each and every time. And for those of you who are already Public Desire family members, thank you so much. I really appreciate the support and love you have shown me so much. Really, really appreciate the subscribers who have already subscribed to this channel. Please stay tuned, continue watching my channel, continue supporting me, because after all, it is not a race against each other, it is a race against poverty. So I expect you people to stay right from the beginning of this particular video until the tail end and get what we call a take home message. You may not like whatever I'm going to discuss. You may not get the, everything that I'm going to discuss, but I'm requesting you, my viewer, stay tuned from this moment until the tail end of this particular video so that you may be able to go home with what we call a take home message. This take home message is what we call a nutshell, is a summary of what I've talked about. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. So from the topic of this particular video,
video. From the topic of this particular video, I'm going to show you how to outwork everybody and be the perfect person in whatever you're doing. Number one, there are only three, there are not five, there are not ten, there are not six. There are only three ways on which you can outwork everybody and be the best person whom you desire to be in this particular world. Now, number one, choose the hard way. You know, I've talked about this in my earlier videos, but it is also important to repeat it because I've realized that people like doing the easy things. The easy things, okay, they give results. They do give results. But one thing I know with easy things, sometimes they might not give you the desired results which you need. Remember, nothing comes easy. The pain and struggle which we go through is the right path towards success. I want to ask you, my valuable viewer, tell me, tell me from the bottom of your heart, in the comment section below, what is it that you have achieved as a result of being comfortable wherever you are? I don't know. Maybe you are the one to tell me. What is it that you have achieved from the fact that you have been comfortable wherever you are? I only know three examples, three people who have achieved what they wanted to achieve because they underwent through pain and struggle. I'm going to name them. Number one is Nelson Mandela. The former president of the Republic of South Africa was jailed in the Robben Island for 27 years. He went through a lot of pain. He went through struggle. It is from this struggle and pain that he delivered the Republic of South Africa. An apartheid ended. Number two, Martin Luther King. When he said that he had a dream, he went through so many struggles and eventually he was assassinated. And what happened? People saw the dream coming true. Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi said, if you want the world to be a better place, be the change that you want. The struggle was real. Everything comes through pain and struggle. So I'm telling you, my valuable viewers, if you want something which is going to outgrow or outdo your competitors, because after all, we are chasing one thing. We are in this world to achieve our goals and, and, the, and the targets. And these goals and targets, you are not the only one who is chasing them. You are not the only one who has identified them. We are, we are many people. People are coming with all kinds of uh, ideas. Do not let anybody outshine you. Do not let anybody outdo you simply because you cannot take the rough, rough, rough path. Take the rough path because it is the only way that you are going to achieve what you truly desire to achieve in this particular life. Having said the first way on how you can outgrow or outsmart your competitors, let me tell you to the second way on how you can outgrow or outsmart the people you are working with in, a, in the pursuit of excellence. Put in the hours. I request put in the hours. After you have identified what you want to do, put in the hours. Remember, time is a very, very important commodity. Time is highly perishable. And I said it earlier, if you have got time and money, these two things, they are very valuable to take you on holiday. You may be having the time, but you don't have the money. You may be having the money, but you don't have the time. So I'm requesting, put in the hours in whatever you want to do. That is the only way you can outwork those people who are chasing the same dream that you have. Remember, the bigger the dream, the larger the dream, the more hours are needed for you to put in to realize your, de your, your desire. Nobody wakes up in the morning and finds everything done. Nobody wakes up in one day and finds that things have already been done. They put in the hours. They put in the effort. So I want you, my valuable viewer, to get the best on whatever you do. From the whatever you do, I want you to achieve the best. And the only way to do this is to put in more and more hours.
In the process of doing that, you will be able to undercover those problems which people don't take, uh, don't realize, and you take your time to prosper in the course of doing them. Trust the process. Do not hate the process. Put in the hours while persistently pursuing the dream and seeing the challenges and overcoming them. Remember the earlier video which I did about the race called the steeple chase. The steeple chase is a very important race. It is very interesting. You run over hurdles, run over hurdles. As you run on each and every hurdle, you pursue the finish line. There is one hurdle which is very, very interesting, is the water hurdle. When you run into the water and pursue it again and run over it, that is very tiresome and you wake up very, you get up from that particular water, you pursue the, the finish line. And that particular time, all other competitors are behind you, you are chasing the finish line. Remember, the process is very tiresome. But when you put in the hours, when you put in the effort, nothing, nothing, you will not be able to achieve. You will achieve everything that you will be able to achieve. And that is number two. And before I go to the third and the final way on how you, out, you can outgrow or out, outsmart all of other people who are pursuing what you are pursuing, I want to take this opportunity to congratulate those people who have just opened their smartphone and have decided to watch my channel. Let me take this particular opportunity to say a word of thank you for considering tuning into my channel. I know there are so many channels you may be have, may have decided to watch, but the fact that you decided to choose this channel and watch my content, I really, really appreciate. If you already like this video up to this moment, please consider pressing the thumbs up icon. Also share this video as many times as you like. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel. I would also appreciate to see the comments in the comment section. I want to know where are you watching this video from? Where in the world are you watching my content from? Put in your comments. If whatever I'm going to say is something which adds value to you, please put in the comment and I'll really, really be glad to read your comments in the comment section. Now let us go to the third and the final way on how you can outsmart the other people who are chasing the same dream as you are. I had said earlier that remember, every morning you wake up, you are not the only one who is chasing the dream. Remember, there are thousands and thousands of people who are also chasing the same dream that you are chasing. Now, let me ask you a simple question. My viewer, what are you going to do when you realize that whatever you want to do, there are 10,000 and 10,000 or 100,000 of people who also want to do the same thing you want to do. What is it that is going to make you achieve the goal that you want to achieve despite the fact that there are 10 and 10 thousands of people who are pursuing the same, same dream you are pursuing? This is the answer. Set the target. It is as simple as that. The story of the lion and the gazelle also come in mind. Remember when the lion is chasing a gazelle, the lion chooses one gazelle. It sets the target that I'm going to chase that particular one. That one is the one I'm going to purchase. So despite of everything that happens, despite of all other gazelles being present, despite of all other animals being present in the hunting ground, the lion has decided to settle on a certain gazelle. So it pursues that particular gazelle. Let me give you another living example of the former NBA basketballer Michael Jordan. He said that he does not regret trying and failing. He does not regret trying each time and failing. What he regrets is not trying. So the gazelle wakes up knowing that today to succeed I have to run faster than the lion. And the lion also wakes up in the morning knowing that for me to eat today, for me to bring food home, I have to run more faster than the gazelle. So these two animals are going to outsmart each other in the jungle. One to run very fast and get the prey, and other one to run very fast, not get hurt or be taken as a prey. So in life, 
This is what I want you to do, my valuable viewers. When you set your target, all other 10,000 people also want to be successful as you are. Remember, I'm a YouTuber. There are many YouTubers in the world. So we are chasing the same, same target. We are chasing the viewers. We are chasing subscribers. So what is going to make you get these things is the way you present your content. So this is the target I want you to understand. When you have chosen the target, well, however difficult it may be, nothing will be impossible to achieve. And this brings us to the end of this particular video. If you like this particular video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you already enjoy whatever I've said, put the comments in the comment section. If you have learned anything in this particular video, please, I'd like to know what have you learned in this particular video today. And you know, if you have been watching my content, you know that my videos cannot come to a complete end, complete end without what we call a home message. Now, I want you to sit back wherever you are, at the comfort of your seat, or maybe when you are driving a car, or wherever you are, or maybe you are seated in somebody's office, take your seat, be somewhere private, I want you to get this particular take home message. You know, a lion can never celebrate before getting the prey. It will hunt and hunt and hunt until it gets prey. Remember, it does not keep time. The lion does not keep a time frame that I'm going to hunt up to this time and then come back. The lion knows that the gazelle may not show up during that specific time. The gazelle might not come in the wilderness at the time when the lion is hunting. So the lion has decided not to put any time frame in the, in the hunting ground. Same as you, when you are pursuing your career, when you are doing a business, when you want to do something, you set a target, but don't limit your time on that particular side. Things may not work. It might bring depression. It might bring some of the diseases which I'm not going to speak here on camera. Go hunt. The, the target is to come back with the prey. That is what you are looking for. Go and hunt. Come back with the prey. You set a time frame, you may not succeed. And this is what the lion does. Once it succeeds, it is time now to celebrate. I'm not saying that it is bad to celebrate. I'm not saying it is bad to party. It is only good to party when there's reason to party. It doesn't pay. It doesn't bring any sense to have fun and to party, to drink and wine, to drink and dine when there's nothing to celebrate for. This is the take home message. You can only achieve the desired results after you have set your target, you have put in the hours, you have taken the rough path, that is the time now you can sit back and relax. Those people who are always celebrating before hitting the target, I'm telling you this for free, take it to the, to the bank. It is not worth to celebrate when there's nothing to celebrate about. Thank you so much for watching this video from the beginning until the end. I've been your host. Julius, if you like this particular video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If it is something which you want to comment, put your comments in the comment section. I'll be glad to respond to your comments. Thank you so much for watching. You, my valuable viewers, let's meet in the next video. Bye. This is King Lion. It is time to celebrate now after hard work.